So today we're going to do from Borbra to Three Score. Never done this route before, so I have no idea what is in store. Uh, looks like there's a couple of interesting bits where the river diverts, so we'll see what that has in store for us. Up that way, there's a mill, so you can't actually get any further, uh, and it looks quite shallow on the map, but something for future. And uh, there's parking just up on that village green there. This is just past the bridge. I'm just now heading out of Borbra. Oh, a little bit shallow. Through a winding bit, uh, which I think is some fisheries. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. And then finally into three score. So just past the main road now. Really pretty actually, nice flow. Although be extremely careful of some of these trees hanging down because I just brushed past one and put my hand out to uh, stop it going in my face and yeah I am now bleeding from several parts of my hand with lots of stabby things in it so be careful. This looks like a lot of fun. A lot of the route is like this, quite fast and narrow. There are a few obstacles on the route uh, like this, quite pretty. Obstacles not too bad so far, apart from the stabby thing. That was bad. Really cool little narrow waterways. It's like this pretty much all the way so far. I don't know how this would be in summer because it's quite shallow, but really good fun. So we've just come up through the fisheries now, no problems at all. Really, really cool paddle. Quite a lot of ducking and diving uh, under obstacles, trees and the like. And now we are just coming into three score and we're gonna come up to a really shallow bit in a minute been following this swan for a while now. I feel like going incredibly slowly, can't get past. If you watch the Eaton paddle, I think I've now developed a fear of swans. Quite a lot of traffic noise, but quite pretty. When we did this tail end of the summer, it was full of crap, but it looks pretty clear now. We came here, I think it was October, and there was a massive storm. And this was a lot, lot shallower than it is now. You can see the bottom there, very clear. And already it's shallow today, and there's actually quite a lot of water. But good flow, it's good fun. And in the storm, it was flipping incredible. This is a really cool bit. Even with this flow, it's still really shallow. Oh. So I'm down on my knees. Yeah, there goes the fin. But very pretty. There is no obvious way around this. Last time I tried to just go down it and point the back of my board up, but my fin caught it and I ended up in the water. So I definitely would not recommend that. So uh, <laughs> quite a, uh, a drop down probably four foot down to the board. Uh, there is actually a bridge just up ahead, which theoretically, if this was accessible and didn't have a massive padlock on it, you could walk around to the bridge, uh, which you can probably see just there. And it's much, much easier to get in. So just coming to the end of the paddle now, and there is a exit here. Our car is just through those woods the other side there, probably about a minute walk. If you continue, down here you will eventually get to the UEA 
but I tried it upstream before and it was completely blocked just a little bit further downstream from here so I don't know if it's still like that or not. Overall really nice little paddle. So in true Ollie adventure style I decided to carry on a bit further through Erland Park and uh, it's getting dark now but you can see there are hella obstacles all the way down this route so I think for tonight we're going to turn back but just in case you decided to carry on venturing down be mindful that it is tough. <laughs>